couples. We save the best for less. Last. I want to thank you for what you and Kevin have done and the ministries that you have begun. And uh, you're a part of our own church ministry here. We love watching what you're doing with these ladies. Share with us. Um, You're going to ask what seven bells means. So I'm going to let her share. Let me ask you, what does seven bells mean? Not everybody knows. It's a very unique little answer, okay? And she says it best. Um, I'm Tatiana, and seven bells is a mariner's term. Uh, It's for seafarers and people lost out at sea. So the sounding of bells is an accounting of time. So the seventh bell is before the last bell when it is too late. So the seventh bell calls out to people who are lost at sea and adrift. The eighth bell means it's too late and that death is imminent. So we reach out to those before right before the end. This is Tatiana Hart, and she is the engine of Seven Bells for people who want to know how Seven Bells got started. I used to work for another ministry, and she came to me one day and said, God has called me to pray for you. And she would sit in my office and pray in the spirit for hours and hours and hours until I got clarity in my mind. And then he launched us both out of there and she continues to pray for eight hours a day in the spirit. And she does this on YouTube channels for anyone else who wants to be prayed over in the spirit. It is on Seven Bells a YouTube channel. So she is basically, I just work to keep up with what happens from that. So I tell people she's the engine and I'm just the worker bee. So I just work to keep up. So we are, I have um, been part of this church for 21 years and I really am a worker bee. I just work. And I um, am, we are both people who come from very serious addiction and both recognize we should be in hell right now and are passionate for those who are chronically lost in addiction and hopelessly confused and mentally challenged. And so what we have sought to do is bring hope and freedom to those who are um, lost. And we get many, many calls from that group of people and those who love them. And most of my role is spent coaching those calls and trying to dial down the stress and the and the danger in those situations and trying to give the next step into those because right now the way society is, that system is very broken and most of the um, the helpers in that, the whole system is very challenged. And um, we know even from the ER visits that a lot of the suicidal people are not even being taken in. So it's a very challenging system right now. So our ministry is one thing. It is to believe for the miraculous. We were fortunately in this church given to pastors, Pastor Eugenia and Vito Kashubin, who taught us how to do prayer ministry and deliverance, do the word, believe the word, and speak the word, and believe the word, and do the word some more, and read the word, and do the word, and pray the word, and that is what we do. And so they have created an entirely different mindset for us than we have ever known before. And we are eternally grateful to this church and to them for just kind of reworking our entire, the way that we have ever learned to do ministry. We are so grateful. And so that's what we do. We just, um, a lot of these people, we bring them to the house that we, that she lives at and we operate out of. And we just, um, we do the word and we believe for the miraculous and we believe it that God will touch and heal the mind and the power of the Holy Spirit will heal in a moment like he did me, like he did her. And that's what Seven Bells is. So, and we do have a women's night on Monday nights where if you come at six o'clock, we pray and at seven o'clock we do Bible study and we do a live stream on our Facebook page at around eight o'clock or nine o'clock and and so if you're a female and you want to join us and learn with us we do Monday nights so that sounds like discrimination so sounds like discrimination if you're a female 
Okay. All right. I do see men at Metro Hope. I'm there Tuesdays and Thursdays, but only women at our house. So. Okay. These guys are intense. I'm telling you what, you watch them and you just feel a little bit uncomfortable, almost like saying, I need to go to the next level, because that's where these, these folks are at in their ministry. Thank you. Go back to your table. We're going to come and visit you in just a moment's time.